Hey everyone, it's Doug with BNH. Today we're looking at a projector from BenQ. This is the V7050i. It's a laser TV projector, or more specifically, a laser UST, that's ultra short throw projector, which I've certainly seen more of in recent time. And for those who have always wanted a big TV, like over 100 inches, but couldn't quite fit it in their space, laser UST projection is one of the biggest advancements to make this possible. On top of that though, this is a 4K HDR projector complete with smart TV apps and casting abilities to bring you a cinema-like experience in your home. As always, we've got a few specs to cover here. First and foremost, as a laser projector, we're talking incredibly short projection throw here. You can be mere inches from the screen and project a much bigger image of about 80 to 123 inches than you would with a traditional projector. In an apartment or a tight living space, this greatly simplifies bringing a projector into your home to replace a living room TV, for example. But combined with the built-in speaker bar with virtual surround sound, it's an even better starting point for a home theater. And as I said before, this is a 4K HDR projector, but BenQ really makes HDR a premium experience here with HDR Pro. HDR Pro is a form of tone mapping, meaning that HDR content is displayed within the bounds of the display capabilities of the projector. Bright highlights, for example, won't be lost or blown out, and shadows won't be crushed or washed out. There's both HLG and HDR10 support here, though there isn't Dolby Vision support. With a very impressive 98% coverage of the DCI-P3 color space, HDR content should look beautiful and rich in color. 4K and HDR content can be played back either through HDMI 2.0 inputs on the projector itself, or through a few of the built-in streaming apps such as YouTube from the included Android TV dongle. There is dedicated app functionality, or you can cast these apps from a smartphone, much like you would to a Chromecast. So first things first, how close was I able to get to our screen? Placement here in general should be fairly low to the ground, as you can see here. I'm just using a white backdrop, which admittedly is really not the best way to view this projector. Really, you should get a screen designed for UST projectors that can also absorb ambient light, like the Aeon CLR screen from Elite Screens. Nonetheless, from the edge of the projector body to the surface of the screen, I was able to get about 11 inches away, which gave me a screen size of just over 95 inches horizontally. Now, this is pretty cool. Turn the projector on and the motorized cover on the top slides forward to reveal the laser. I've already set this up, but at first boot up, you can actually set the projector to act as a rear projector, which of course you can also choose to do later if you wish. We'll talk more about the Android TV dongle a little bit later, but first thing that I wanted to see was how the projector fares in a very brightly lit environment. Our studio in this shot here only has the house lights on, meaning it's about as lit as any office or conference room. Hmm, somehow that statement seems off. As you can see, even in this bright environment, the V7050i's bright mode punches through the ambient light and projects a fairly vivid image considering what it's fighting against. Of course, if we're talking about cinema, which this projector excels at, you'll really want to test it out in a much darker environment. So I turned out the lights and then switched the projector over to its filmmaker mode, which is actually a specially designated mode for color accuracy when watching movies. Even in filmmaker mode, I gotta say, it doesn't look that much dimmer at all. I tested a few videos and the colors are just immersive and rich with clear delineation between hues and shades. Contrast is great and this is obviously far from perfect as a screen is concerned. I can only imagine how good this would be on a proper screen. Now both HDR10 and HLG are supported here and the highlights are incredible. Testing out a few HDR videos, this is really where the projector quite literally shines. Colors are even richer here, and the other thing I noticed was astonishingly clear motion clarity. Watching 60 FPS HDR footage here feels somewhat surreal. And as far as projectors are concerned, it's great to see that there's really no color strobing to the naked eye. One of the great features of the V7050i is the HDR Pro tone mapping, which is handled automatically based on the mode you're in. When viewing HDR content, simply enable wide color gamut support and the projector will map the tones of the content so that highlights are never blown out and shadows aren't lost. To really take advantage of this though, you have to actually leave filmmaker mode while playing an HDR source. You'll switch over to HDR10 as the picture mode and then turn on wide color gamut. This allows the projector to dynamically scale its iris and better preserve colors and details along the brightness range. So the video is fantastic here, but what about the sound? 
The built-in speaker sounds full and present, and believe me, it gets plenty loud. Dialogue in particular sounds up front and center, while bass response is pretty impressive. Lastly, let's just quickly run through the menus and Android TV setup here. The Android TV dongle provided here, known as the QS01, plugs into a dedicated HDMI port and USB port to be powered by the projector. I was a little surprised to see this kind of setup at first, but I actually kind of like that it's broken out like this, because if you want, you can keep the projector completely platform agnostic with no smart TV features. BenQ provides two remotes here. One is a projector-centric remote, and the other a smaller Android TV remote. Both remotes can actually control the V7050i, and you really only need the smaller one since it too can access the projector menus. However, the larger remote has dedicated projector setting buttons, so you can more quickly access those specific settings. Now, if you've used Android TV before, the menus here will look pretty familiar. Apps like YouTube and Disney Plus can be pre-installed when you first set up the dongle, and this is also where you'd set up a Wi-Fi connection, streaming accounts, and any other apps you want. The V7050i is about as big as you'd expect from a projector, but it's important to remember what's included here. At 500 by 388 by 157 millimeters, it'll fit on most entertainment center tables. Depending on how you arrange the screen, you could get away with something fairly compact if you mount it flush with the wall. There's also the built-in speaker to keep in mind, so you won't have to worry about fitting a separate soundbar in there either. At 10 kilograms, it is of course a little heavy, but that's to be expected here. As for connections, you have a few options. You get two HDMI 2.0a connections with the second port capable of ARC connections. You can also get audio output through the SPDIF optical connection, so if you want to quickly get the audio content out into another sound system or an AV receiver, you can do it through here. There's also two USB-A ports on the side, one of which is a 3.0 and the other a 2.0 connection. Remember, as you can see, the first port is actually intended for the Android TV dongle if you choose to use it. Finally, there's another USB-A connection on the back and an RS-232 connection for more advanced projector control. Getting a theater experience in the home has never been easier. A large part of that here is the Laser UST design, which makes all the difference in setting up a projector in a small space. But the BenQ V7050i ticks off so many other boxes that it's honestly hard to think of a better solution to get a premium HDR experience in the home. You can easily integrate this into a bigger home theater setup and get a truly captivating experience. So that's it for the BenQ V7050i. This is Doug with b and and I'll see you next time.